that video that Michael shared with me on Facebook? All right. I'll play a trailer of Any World Blood Wars now. Thank you. So, it, I don't have to be extremely specific. Because of Xperia's or, or uh, Sony's agent technology, it's able to interpret what you're referring to just based off a few reference points. And just as an example, my Facebook account, my TV, uh, and a video being shared from exterior source, really anything that's connected to your home network, this will be able to source and then display for you, turn on the TV for you. So there's a lot of different applications that'll kind of bundle into one. Another good example, if I have a photo on my phone, for example, Xperia agent, can you bring up that photo Michael sent me? Is this the photo? Yes, it is. Can you put it on the TV, please? Sure. So not only are you able to display things on the TV, etc., but it also has a screen as well. So if you're ever kind of, if you want to do maybe some Skype or FaceTime, something like that, you can actually do that via the screen or use this screen if you don't have a TV connected to it or don't want to go to the TV. It really depends on where you put this. My last example, of course, is if I want to play some music. Xperia Agent, can you play my favorite song for me? No problem. I'll also switch off the TV for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so we have a network speaker over here. This is in access. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. And so, a lot of products on the market that kind of tie tech together, or a lot that you can voice search, but none with a personality. You're able to interact with face to face. You said cute, I completely agree. It's something I can actually talk to, look at, and it's controlling my tech for me. Almost like someone walking around, turning on things for me, sourcing things for me, and all I have to do is look at this. 